what's up guys welcome to trending reviews so i previously recorded a video demoing android auto using my google pixel 4 today i'm going to be showing you apple carplay with the iphone 11 now just before i set it up i just wanted to let you guys know that for this to work you need to have the latest in control touch software installed in your range rover villa so i have version 19 and above so that's the one you need to get if you have the ability to turn software updates on yourself then you have the correct version and that will have apple carplay inbuilt okay so just starting off you need to get the original apple charging cable now i say the original one because if you get a third party cable sometimes it will charge your phone but it might not get picked up by the in control software and it might give you some errors and it might not work as smooth as you'd like to so i have the original cable i'm going to plug this into the usb port into the middle compartment here so let me go ahead and do that now now i'm going to plug it in and it should automatically load up apple carplay on the screen so obviously i'll uh there you go you can see carplay is now loaded there and all of the apps there that are compatible with it have just displayed there on the dashboard so what i'm going to do is just quickly cycle through all the different options and give you a quick demo so as you can see all the main stuff here you can got your messages your calendars if you wanted to exit this at any point you can come back to this dashboard and click on land rover and it'll go back to the home screen if you swipe left it's quite intuitive it's not too laggy it does take about maybe half a second for it to, to, to pick up your movements and swipes but this is your main dashboard of the carplay so you have your music player your recently visited addresses and then you also have some uh, quick access apps here on the right hand side you've got the date and time there and you have uh, maps for your current location so if you hit that you can go back to the apps and you can swipe through all the main apps you have now of course i reckon the most common apps you're going to be using are things like spotify and the navigation so those are the ones i want to focus on today as you can see it loaded up quite quickly if you hit one of your music options there it will start playing the music now i won't play it out loud because of uh, copyright issues on youtube but it, in fact if you have a look here on the steering wheel you can see that if you control with the next buttons the music will also change next and previous as well you can also control the volume from here so everything that's happening there can also happen using your steering wheel buttons as well so that's pretty good so that's spotify now one other thing around the uh, navigation let me go back here so i'm at my local shops now if i wanted to search for a place let's say for example i can use voice command or i can type it in now obviously typing works fine you can find points of interest now i'm going to focus here a little bit voice activation as well so if i hit this where would you like to go take me to oxford street in london getting directions to oxford street london as you can see, picked it up very quickly. Hit go. Starting route to Oxford Street. There you see. And it's pretty smooth, works straight away. Gives me a little ETA, how many minutes are left. And you can just go straight away. Now, if I wanted to cancel this navigation, do another search. So one thing I wanted to, to make you guys aware of is with the voice commands, there is a voice command button here on the steering wheel. If you use this to try to get you to go to a particular place using the navigation it will default back to the Land Rover navigation and not the Apple one so for example take me to Oxford Street London choose a line number now this is basically asked me to pick it from the standard default Land Rover navigation system if I go through that route then it will start loading up the, the default navigation system and not this one so if you wanted to use the voice command you have to press the microphone button there otherwise you can just tap and start typing in so I actually find this a lot more smoother and faster using the keyboard here than the default Land Rover one so as you can see as I'm pressing it the response time is a lot quicker so I find this a lot better to use than the actual default one. Very quick, very easy to load. So that's a little bit about the navigation. You obviously have your music player there. And then you can also add more apps if you go into the 
Apple App Store and type in Land Rover apps and then you should come up with more compatible apps that you can install. There's so many different options. There's multiple radio stations. There's a lot of audio books. There's tons of different things. There's a few navigation ones as well. But primarily the ones you'll be using are the ones that are already pre-installed in this. So you're pretty much set to go. I wouldn't recommend filling this up so much with lots of apps because it may slow it down a little bit. But you also have some settings here as well if you wanted to change like the appearance on this, show some album art on your music and various other little settings. But not so much in-depth types of options that you can make. So hopefully that was very useful for you. You also have your Apple Music if you've got that on your phone. If you wanted to listen to some audiobooks or podcasts, you can do it from there. And likewise, if you wanted to make a phone call, you'd have to do it through your phone settings there and uh, not via the default voice commands through the steering wheel. So pretty easy. If there's anything you'd like me to test on this Apple CarPlay, then do drop a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you found this useful. I've got the link to all of my Range Rover Velar videos in a playlist linked down in the description below if you want to see anything else on my Velar. If there's any other questions you have, then let me know. Otherwise, I hope you subscribe and I will catch you guys at my next Velar videos. Take care.